Hi guys, Susanna Hairstyle here. Um, today I'm sharing with you a custom order that I made for the lovely Sandra. Um, uh, she wanted me to do a, a nature themed journal and sort of gave um, certain instructions on, you know, the, the spine size. She wanted a three inch spine, which is probably one of the biggest ones I've ever made. Um, I'm not used to making three inch, but it turned out really quite good and gave me plenty of room to um, put signatures in. Um, I hand painted the front cover with this gorgeous little fox um, uh, picture that I got off, I think it might have been off Pinterest, um, which inspired me to um, draw the, from that um, re reference photo. I just thought it looked so cute. It was um, basking in the sun, like enjoying the sun. Um, I've got this little um, thing in here. It says a, a magnificent fox. She particularly is partial to foxes. So I've got sort of all um, animals and um, nature and all that kind of stuff in there. But um, mainly, you know, more elements of foxes. So... Um, I've got beautiful vintage lace on here, old buttons on long there, and this is um, avocado dyed um, lace, and then this gorgeous fabric um, from this sort of beautiful dyed fabric that I've got in this range, which goes really well. I thought the colours just went really well with the fox, and then this is sort of like wool, um, like dyed wool, which I... Uh, put on there and stitched it on there as well. And this has got sari silk as holding it together. It's so cute. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And he just finished putting some lace in because it had a bit of a lace here. And I thought it needs a little bit more lace. So I mean, he just tied it in like this. That way, if she wants to extend it when it gets fuller. So it has four signatures. And this beautiful vintage lace on the inside. In here I've got um, my business card as well as a little message there for Sandra. I've used a lot of elements from my 10 ways to use your book pages. So, because um, you particularly like those. Then I've got a little booklet I made. Beautiful, I love this fabric. I think that might have been, did I use these? I think I did. Yeah, that's the right size. Made from the old, old made. And that's from a, um, a post, not a postcard, uh, just a normal playing card. So I'm quite happy and really like that. Gorgeous. So that slides in there. So in the first signature, they all... Uh, similar in the way that they lay are laid out. I've just got from a beautiful um, book that I had with these really gorgeous pictures of birds and I just didn't know what to do with them and they were really big and so I made them into this journal so she can have something in there which I've got in there but it's also a tuck spot in there as well. So I've just um, got some coffee dyed paper that I've put in there that you can journal or maybe use it as a letter distress inked papers and then just throughout all collaging from old book papers I put in um, this is from an old vintage book so it's got sort of like um, nature type elements in there that's why I chose those you'll probably recognize some of the bits and pieces this is from the 10 ways to use a book pages corner tuck spot that's one of the ones I used from the, the playing cards. So it's a little journaling card. And you can notice it's got a fair bit of fox elements. Here's a little, I might use, actually I'll use one of these. Here's a tuck spot in here. Just some nice sheet music. One of the um, pages from that really cute book. Uh, there's a, got a few um, nice pages. This is uh, the ones that I used to make the the um, tags and stuff, coffee dyed paper, here's another element. This is actually Edith Holden, a book about Edith Holden. Um, and it's got some of her nice illustrations in there. So I picked out the sort of nature themed ones. 
Let's put this beautiful vintage lace in there on the um, distress, distress ink. Well, it's my homemade version of distress ink that I make and I use, um, and I'll just put sort of like ink, pigment ink in there and add it with water. So it's in greens and I love the way it's turned out. Greens, yellows and maybe oranges. Here's another vintage book page. I'll just put a tag in there, part of the element. So I thought I didn't want to decorate it too much, that way she could um, journal on it how she wants. Another collage element using vintage book page. Got a lot of Edith Holding in there. This is the back side of the metal signature. These you may recognise from my last episode 10. So every, there's four um, signatures and every centre signature has got one of these gorgeous pages in it. So um, she can write on that side as well. So that's why I thought I'd fill out the other elements with something so she can use both sides. I love how these turned out. So cute. Little button on there. Looks like it, a kingfisher, I think. Another old vintage book page. Tuck spot using the tag and it's got a fox on that side so I didn't want to cover that up so I kept that where are we? more distress another Edith Holden Edith Holden little corner tuck spot the other side they're so cute polecats gorgeous little bunny the other side of the music another one of these Tags that I made, and so in the in these ones, so the front cover, I've got, um, you know, I'll utilize this paper throughout. It's got that same paper on here as well. So it's sort of, I'm very uh, like to have things unifi unified. <laughs> I don't know, that's how I am. More vintage book paper. And then there's another. Um, part of that paper and then the end they've all got little envelopes which I made out of an old book page it's so cute so it's one about um, I've got a couple of these with the hedgehog stuff on there probably can't see it I'll turn it around that way there we go it's all cute haven't got anything in them but you can put stuff in there and you can also I've left it that you could put stuff in the back as well so so that's the first signature the second signature it had this paper that was um, gorgeous on the back <laughs> um, but it didn't have anything on the front so I just collaged and I've got um, a Peter Rabbit and this um, this fabric seems to sort of be a theme throughout it as well um, so I needed something on the front because it was a bit plain yeah it's got this one and then once again Got that paper on there, so it's just a writing ink page, more collage. Love the way they turned out. Vintage book page, little chipmunk. So cute. Nope. Stuck. I don't know why that's stuck. This is one of the corner pockets that I made, and one of the tags. Have to put it in there. It's got a bit of a 3D element into it. Sort of pieced bits and pieces together in this one. Sari silk, which is the same as here. Music, a book from the that really a page from that book. They've all got a page. This is from my Australian botanical book. This part here, and then that's from another one. Animals around us. Edith Holden book. Oh, nice illustrations, more vintage lace. And a little bunny and a mouse. It's so cute, I love the bunnies in that book. Collage. And then here's the other side of the, the center page. So this one is that original um, one that I made. I've scanned all these off, which I'm glad. So I've always got a copy of these original ones but um she got the originals thought that needed a nice bird on that side it's a bit of sari silk quite pretty actually 
it's still a bit quiet. My voice is still not 100%, but I'm getting there. And a more vintage book page. It's got a little bird on it. And once again, the same sort of the inside of the, the covers. Other side of the Edith Holden. Here's a tuck spot. So cute. Love the deers. And then a rabbit. Use sheet music. And then the, the fox cub with a bushy tail. So cute. It's a journaling card. And it looked a little plain, so I'll put on a mouse in there. The other side of that vintage paper. And enjoy the little things. I think that might have been the last collage that I, that I made. And just this ink. And then here's another envelope that I made from that really cute little book of poems for kids. So that one's going that way. And also there's a tuck spot at the back as well. So you've got plenty of space to uh, put your bits and pieces. So here's an, this one, the paper. And also the tuck spot in the back as well. There. Collage page. It's really cute, that one. These are quite old books, these actually, the vintage books. There's a, I think this might have been the first one I made from the, oh, that's got quite a cute little back on there. The corner. Beautiful little flower. Badger. It's a tuck spot too. I really like this. This is about wind and rain. So that's got the poem about the wind on that side. And then a poem about the rain on that side. More collaging. Another Edith Holden. You'll see the um, the head. It's actually a bunny. It's the only trouble when you fold things over. This is vintage um, lace as well. And it had um, like a space where you could put ribbons. So I cut a piece of that and sort of stuck that in there so it ties in. I love the way it's turned out, the way it's so multicoloured. Beautiful. Old book again, got owls. This one near lent itself to being in top corner, so that's tags upside down. There's this fabric again. Collage element, Edith Holden. I love this one. I think uh, Sandra will really like this one because it's the fox. I particularly love the way this little fox is just staring at the snail. It's so cute. More little bunnies. So there's plenty of collage elements in here. And then that, another one of these. And that paper again. There you go, these are bunnies. And the squirrel. That one is a tuck spot going that way as well. And the top part of the rain. And then the wind. I love, particularly really like this um, page. I thought it was beautiful. So more sheet music. Music, music, yeah, whatever. That's really cute. This is probably one of the last bits of that um, thing I had. So cute. Vintage book page. Love that. So cute, the old, it's from a kid's book of wonder or something like that. More collage elements. There's still plenty of place for you to journal. Another little place here. And if you look here, Sandra, there's a little fox. I think he's eyeing them off. And it goes in like that. And there's also a tuck spot in here. And then I got this one. I love this paper. This is from the anthology range, which is very nature oriented. Okay. It goes beautifully. Once again, it ties in. They've all got little sayings and stuff on there. Another collage element. Vintage paper. I love that. This is really cute. Little bunny. Yeah, just plain on that side. It's also part of the book. A lot of these are little bits and pieces are stuck together. So there's a lot of collage in this. That's really cute. I love hedgehogs. 
I've got a hedgehog uh, journal that I'm going to be doing soon, like I've started him. So, stuff about foxes. Bunny. And another Edith Holden page. So, I've used uh, Edith Holden that normally people wouldn't have. Like they've got, we've got the her um, other journals, but this is actually a journal about her. Um, I haven't really seen many people use them. This is actually an avocado dyed piece of uh, vintage lace and sort of pinky tinge to it. Vintage book page. Tuck spot. It's so cute. The bunnies. This has sort of got a more of a shabby chic look about it. That one just fitted in there perfectly. It was one of those ones I'm like, what am I going to do with it? But I didn't want to um get rid of it they tend to be a little bit marked and because it was a um, mixed media so it's got a bit of stuff on the other side but that's okay you can still write on it i love this page so cute that's the center this is the bottom half of that monarch butterfly i use somewhere so this one a little fox streaks away another journal card and that same themed for owls another side of the Edith Holden this is another tuck spot as well using Edith Holden and this one's from my Australian botanical book and the other side of that gorgeous page it's so cute I love these there we go. Get in there. It's quite a quite a big one. I like this one too. It's got a bit of a shabby sheet look to it. So it's still plenty of place to do things. It's another little page from that children's poem book. And so she's got two going sideways and two going upways, and it's another place to journal in there. And then the back here. I, because she loves foxes that much, I put in that trifold um, book as well. So you got that, and there's a little place to journal in there as well. So there you go. I particularly love that one, and I think she will be pretty excited she's getting this. Um, yeah, it's so cute. I love it. I've got um. I think a dear one that I want to make up as well, but this has got the cutest little pictures in it. And then handmade with love. This is vintage lace as well, which I um it was white originally, so I I dyed it with Parisian essence coffee, whatever. There you go. So that's this lovely journal. It's quite a a uh, a labour of love, and I'm sure that. Sandra will love it and I thought I would just share it with you guys um, before I mail it off which will have to be after Christmas um, because it's getting pretty close to Christmas now um, so it's a post Christmas present there you go there you go thanks guys for watching and um, I will continue to work on my um, my journal that I'm doing the uh, art journal collage page I've got to do the front cover of the summer page which summer for me winter for you guys um, and so that will be my next uh, video that I'm going to be doing thank you for watching and um, and enjoying this video um, I'll catch you all later and have a happy new year and and a wonderful Christmas if I don't put up a video before then Thanks, guys. Bye.